Hi everyone, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a great summer card for you featuring one of my sets from Gina K Designs, Gifts from the Sea. I realized I had not shown a video yet doing this fabulous fish and what I love about this particular image is that it's both line art and bold so it gives you coloring opportunities and lots of possibilities for direct to stamp inky techniques. So today I'm going to do a little bit of what's called tool stamping and I'm also going to show you how you can do a little bit of zen tangling with a white pen to create different patterns on that stamped fish. I also used the frame from my fabulous frame set in this particular scene and I'm going to show you some examples examples of how you can use some of my other frames from my frame series to change up this layout. But pretty minimal supplies for this card. You're going to be using the Gifts from the Sea stamp set and then I'm also going to be using, like I said, the frame from Fabulous Frame and some greetings from it. The cardstock that we're using today, I've got a piece of the Gina K Pure Luxury Wild Dandelion, and then I've also got a piece of the white. This is layering weight. I've already stamped on the frame and trimmed it down just for the sake of time, but you'll see in some of my other videos how I stamp that frame, either using a six by six, a four by six acrylic block like this, or the Misty, so whichever you prefer. And then we've got some smaller blocks for the smaller images. The ink pads I'm using, I've got the Gina K Black Onyx and the Blue Lagoon. And then I have a sponge dauber for filling in that background with the water. I've also just got some adhesive and then scissors for cutting that down or if you want to pop either of those fish up. Okay, finally, we've also got just a couple markers that I'm using today. I've got the CT2, which is a great match for that wild dandelion paper, and then the JG1. And I'm gonna show you some tip to tip and tricks of how we're gonna create several shades from just these two colors. So let's begin by stamping out our scene here. I'm gonna start with the seaweed, and I'm just gonna put this kind of around that oval frame to frame up the fish and kind of ground the scene out. Have some moving seaweed in the background. So I'm gonna have one here, and then I like to vary the heights. So I'm gonna put one down here, and then we'll have another one here just kind of overlapping into that frame, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my fish. Now this is so fun. So I'm going to do two different techniques on these two different fish, just so that you can see how you can change it up here. So this first technique is called tool stamping. And what I'm going to do, you can do this with really any bold image and another stamp image. But what I'm going to be doing, uh, you saw in another video that I did the kissing when I'm pressing patterns onto it. This is pressing on a pattern, but then you're actually trying to take away the ink. So it kind of gives you a faux shaving cream look where it swirls it around, but we're removing the ink rather than adding it. So let me show you here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to ink up the fish. Let me put a piece of paper under this so you can see just a little bit better what's going on on this fish, okay? So we've got it completely inked up in the black. And then I'm gonna take, I'm taking just this little piece of coral, so I think it's an interesting shape, but I'm not just stamping it on, I'm gonna be twisting it. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't mean to, hang on, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna tap this off. Sometimes you can add a color, but I'm not doing that here. Okay, so we're removing this ink, but I'm gonna press down onto this bold area, and then I'm twisting it. So you can see through how that made a pattern. And then you can do it again if you want, if you want to add a little bit more. But see how it's all kind of swirly now? All right, so let's go ahead and just press this down. And I got off a little bit there. I don't know how that happened. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to put one down here. Isn't that cool? And then this one, I'm just gonna stamp this all in black and I'm gonna make a little bit of a design on it. Let's see, I think I wanna put this one, I'm gonna have this one going like this. 
Okay. And then I'm going to do a greeting, but I'm going to do the greeting last just because I want it to be nice and black and crisp when it shows up. When I, after I do my stamping. So when I do some coloring here real quick, I'm gonna use that yellow and green marker and I'm just gonna fill in all of the open areas on the fish. And I think I forgot to mention, I also wanna have a white gel pen on hand because I'm gonna be doing some details on this that I really want to pop. And you'll notice the frame overlaps it. If you don't want it to overlap your images, then you can do some masking when you do the stamping, but I kind of like those intersecting lines on the stamp. And then I'm also, even though they don't look yellow in my samples, I'm gonna do the yellow first on the seaweed. And what that's gonna do is when I sponge on my blue, I don't have to do any masking, but yellow and blue make green. So it's going to create a brighter, lighter green shade than the darker green marker that I'm using for my shadows. And it's going to coordinate really nicely with these yellow fish since it has that yellow base, the same yellow base. Now I'm going to take this JG1 or GJ, JG1 and I'm just going to put this down on the bottom. So I'm just tracing the underside of these fish, just filling in a small area. Maybe put a little bit back here too. Got a little accent there. And then I'm gonna do some tip to tip coloring where I'm gonna hold the yellow marker in my right hand, which is the hand I color with, and lift off just a little bit of green and then color in circles to pull that up onto the top area of the fish. Fish are so fun to color because there's just so many different kinds of color combinations you can do, whether you wanna make up your own or make them look like real fish. So these are angel fish, but you can make all different kinds of patterns and colors. And so I just want this green just to fade into the yellow like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, you see where all those dark lines are where the leaves are folding and waving in front of and behind each other. I'm not even going to blend this with my markers because this is gonna get blended when I sponge that Blue Lagoon over it. Okay. All right, so now let's do our sponging. So I'm gonna take my Blue Lagoon pad And I'm just going to just rub this on and then starting off of the cardstock so that I don't get a big round circle print from my sponge dauber. Go onto the cardstock and I want to have it darker on the bottom and then work my way up to the top because it always gets lighter towards the surface. But you don't have to have it real even because the light does filter through the water. You can also see how you can make rays of sunshine coming through the water. If you see my other video that I did, and that peeled up a little bit right there. Okay. The other video that I did using my seahorse stamp. But what I don't want, I really don't want to have white areas coming through. I want lighter areas, but I don't want it to look like sky. Now the way that we're going to also make this look even more like water is we're going to use the little speckle stamp that I have in the Gifts from the Sea set to create some bubbles. And in my seahorse video, if you watch that, I use the white craft pad, but today I'm going to be doing it in the same blue lagoon. So this is just going to add some really nice texture to the water, but when you're using this with brown inks you can also make a sandy beach and so that's one of the reasons I just love this stamp. So I'm just kind of tapping it on so it's not coming out in an obvious square shape and I'm stamping it off so that they kind of fade off as they go up to the surface but see that's just adding just some nice texture to our scene okay and you see how 
our yellow leaves turn green by layering on that blue. Okay, now what I want to do finally, so I've got, this is a Uniball Signo white pen. So the black onyx ink is a really juicy pad, a nice dark ink, so it kind of takes out some of the details sometimes. I'm just going to put a little white spot there in the eye of the fish. And then I told you I was going to do a different pattern on this one. You can leave it black if you want, but I'm going to make this look like the pattern of the corn angel on our tank. And so I'm just going to start by making a V here at the back and then just working that up. I just love how that white pops on this card. Okay. Not fun. And then if you want, you can also do a few more bubbles and you could do this with the speckle stamp, but if you don't have the white craft pad since you've already got out the white gel pen, that's kind of fun to add just a little bit more color and texture to the water. Now let's add our greeting last. So I'm going to do, let's see, a little bit more room on this one. Whoops. I think I'm going to do blessed to have a friend like you on this one. So I'll show you my other samples in just a minute. For that first one, I used a greeting from the Fabulous Frame stamp set, and that's a great stamp set to have. For all occasions, I used different greetings in a really classic font that you can really use year round. And that's what the Fabulous Frame is for, is to frame anything. I do friend here. Just pop that in just like that. And then we're going to put this on the yellow cardstock. And the card's complete. So let me show you my samples. You might have already noticed this in the thumbnail when you clicked on the video. This one we're doing it landscape style, but the other ones I have in portrait style. If you want, you could layer that on some black cardstock. All right, so here we have it on the holiday frame. So this is in a portrait layout with that same little friend stamp. And then this one is from my Inspiration Mosaic stamp set. So this is one of my best selling stamp sets of all time, this Inspiration Mosaic. Just so many different things it works with. Can really add a lot of style to any image or any scene just by layering on this frame. And as with most of my frames, you can use it in four different orientations. And then this I love you, it just came from that I love you forever. So you'll see here I did the tool stamping. Here's one other way that I used my white gel pen just to create some polka dots, kind of like a clown trigger fish. So these were really fun for me to make. Let me know which of these is your favorite and which technique you are most excited to try on this fish. But I hope it gives you lots of ideas for these frame sets and for my gifts from the sea so you can make your under own underwater scenes this summer. Thank you for watching today. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets and at GDK Designs and Stamp TV. Thanks for watching again. God bless.